Hi everybody, it's Julianne Jones and uh, just wanted to record a quick mock or demo party for you. Several of you have been asking for that. Uh, a lot of you would like to actually see how the Meet.fm platform works, you know, live and in person. And uh, so I'm just going to kind of go through a really quick scenario of what a party would look like. I actually have a checklist here of what I'm going to do during the party, which I recommend. You can use notes yourself, which is great. I actually took this checklist directly from module three or module four, module four in the, uh, the virtual party uh, solution program, because it's a, basically a type, a timeline and a checklist for what to do at your party. So that's what I'm going to be using when I go through this today. We're going to pretend there are guests here. We're going to pretend there's a host. You can see from your screen now that I'm um, on the left hand side, actually, as you're looking at your screen, the right hand side, of the screen and there's a, a dark gray box below my video. In that dark gray box, if I happen to have a host here, um, she would actually, she could share her camera and she could be just below my video um, she, as you know, you'd be able to see her as well. And then we could have two other people there too. So up to four people at a time can share this, uh, this their video cameras and webcam them, webcast themselves here. And so if my host were here, I'd be acknowledging her. We could be talking back and forth. All the other guests, would have audio options so they could they could talk into the conference and ask questions and then there's also a chat feature um, and I'm going to type something in the chat box so you can see how that works also you'll see that the, the number one comes up there um, over on the left hand side and if you click on that then it's also going to pop that up and you can see all the chat if there were a chat going on it would all be happening here so there are a lot of different ways for people to connect through this process and uh, makes it really simple for your guests, which is what we want. That's a big part of what um, the reason that I really like Meet FM is because it's simple for your guests to use. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually take myself off of the um, shared webcam and I want to show you what happens when I just host, um, use the host with the host webcam so I can just broadcast myself um, into the event and it's a little bit different it's a bigger screen you'll see more of me it's just me and there's a it's easier to free your guests to focus so you can also use this feature when you go into presentation mode which which is what we're going to do right now okay so i would start the party out by um, acknowledging everyone having each guest introduce themselves and basically um, what i would recommend is that you maybe go down the list and you have each guest and you say so sue go ahead and tell us you know where how you know the host or maybe where you're from if you have a, a audience from around the um, United States which can happen really easily with an event like this so that each one of those people introduces themselves um, tells how they know the host maybe and and they all kind of get to know each other just a little bit on the platform the idea of this is it's it's a live party okay so and that's what we would do to begin with and then from there I would acknowledge the host and again, you could either have her, you could go back to the sharing mode and have her um, click back in so that everyone could see her. Or um, you, could, you could do it this way as well. It kind of depends on what she's comfortable with and if she wants to be on camera. The nice thing about Meet FM is it's really quick and simple. Let me show you exactly how long this would take if I did this. So let's say that I want to acknowledge the host and I decide I'm going to go back to the shared webcam um, process. All I do is click on that, make sure that she's got that set up on her computer, and there we are again, and she would be, she would show up right below me. Uh, I would recommend that you spend some time with your host, maybe do like a quick 15 minute, um, you know, pre-party where you actually bring her into the software and you show her how to use everything, all the buttons. Um, maybe, you know, 15 minutes spent here is gonna be enough. And you do want her to, excuse me, to be familiar with the platform just in case something goes wrong and uh, you know your microphone stops working or you, you have a something that you need to deal with she can step in for a minute and kind of will know um, you know what is going on and, and how everything works so just take a few minutes with that host perfect so um, then you could you, you want you could maybe share a little bit of your own story and uh, and again to do that I'm probably gonna want to um, have my host webcam on on so that you get a little bit more of one-on-one -on -one and a bigger picture of me so I'm back okay so I'm, I'm basically gonna tell you my story how I got into direct sales um, how I started doing virtual parties and and you know what that has meant for my business maybe I would recommend that you talk up this option because it's a great recruiting tool and we're gonna you're gonna use that a little bit later in the party um, and then 
We're going to step into, once you've done a little bit of that, maybe do a little bit of housekeeping, let people know how to use these buttons over here on the, um, on the left-hand side. There aren't that many, basically. Um, it's really simple. The little person button here lets them see how many people or who are in the um, conference. This is, as I already told you, this is the, the messaging or the chat box. This will mute them, so make sure they know that. If they want to click that green button, it will mute them so that if they they have background noise or whatever, they, you can't hear them. Or sometimes you'll get an echo that'll just kind of come in if someone's on a cell phone. Um, and if that happens, you can ask everybody to mute themselves, and then when they want to talk, they can just unmute themselves or use the chat box. And then the settings button here, you decide where um, how you're calling in if you have someone who says oh you know i can hear you but i can't talk or is having trouble hearing you then they can actually dial in as well and this this is where they'll find the dial in information so that's always an option and uh you know i will tell you that that i hosted a party with this a couple of weeks ago just to kind of test it out and it's a really pretty pretty reliable platform we had 15 people on the event and there were virtually no tech glitches at all so um that's pretty cool Okay, so I want to actually step into uh, the party itself now and show you some of these cool tools, but I want to preface this by telling you that it literally took me um, about maybe an hour and a half total to get completely prepared for what I'm going to share with you. So um, setting everything up took about maybe 40 minutes, and you're going to see I actually set up three different uh, product carousels. And um, I recommend that you that you do that. You want to have like just like you do at your live party, two or three different times when you're sharing product and you're going through that. I have four products in each carousel, so that's about 12 products that I'll be sharing tonight or today, and that's that's about right. Um, you if you could do more or less. It totally depends on your product and how long you want to take. Okay, but I've set up these carousels so that I know the first section of my party. I'm going to share these products. The second section, I'm going to share these products. So they're all set up, um, including pictures and descriptions. I took the time to do that um, in preparation to record this. I've also set up what um, Meet FM calls uh, action pop-ups, and action pop-ups are a way for you to actually direct people straight to where to purchase your product. I'm going to share that with you again as well, um, and you'll see how that works in just a second. Um, and then I spent about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so setting up a, uh, a PowerPoint presentation, which I'm going to pop up in just a second. Um, Actually, I use Keynote because I have a Mac, but you could use Keynote or PowerPoint just to kind of give you, you some kind of fun visuals. You can do that or not. You can continue with this type of thing if you want to just broadcast yourself as you're talking, or you can have the PowerPoint. But I wanted to show you as many features as possible. Um, and like I said, that took maybe 20 minutes. And then I spent about, I don't know, half an hour or so getting really um, familiar with the interface, going through and looking at to see how everything works. Literally, it took about an hour and a half total to get completely prepared so I knew how to use it. Um, and the beautiful thing is once you get those carousels and those pop-ups and all those links set up, they're there for you. And you set it up once and you're done. Unless you change the products in the carousel, which literally takes about a minute, if, if not, if, if that, maybe even less. And for me, it, it probably took longer because I had to actually go find the pictures I set up, pretend, you know, products and companies, they're not real. Um, for you, you'd probably be on your, your company website all the products and pictures and description would be right there. You could download them, be really simple. Okay, so um, I just wanna let you know, I'm not gonna be actually telling you how I'm doing all this as I'm going through this party. That's really what happens in module three of the virtual party solution program. And um, also the uh, Dave Fleming from meet.fm, who is basically their marketing director, knows the whole platform in and out, is gonna do an exclusive Q&A and training call for the people in this program um, in about two weeks. Um, down the road to share with you how to do that and, and answer all your questions and make sure that you're very clear about how to use the software. I will tell you, it's simple and it doesn't take long to figure out, but I'm not gonna be spending a lot of time, any much time today saying this is how I did this. I want you to see the features and how they work in a real party because that's what you guys have been asking for, okay? So let's step into this party and we're gonna do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pull up the PowerPoint presentation that I created for you um, and it's in the form of a PDF, so I, I created a keynote on Mac or a PowerPoint if you were on a, on a PC, and then I converted it to a PDF. Okay, so I'm going to end my camera here. There we go. And I'm going to pull up the PDF. And so you can see we're on the first page of the PDF right now. 
and you can adjust, you can tell your guests, they can adjust the size of that PDF. Up here you can see that little slider. So um, it's going to start out, depending on their resolution on their screen, probably pretty big. So you can have them adjust that down so it fits into their screen. And that's, again, super simple. And you just need to make sure you're giving them directions to do that. Okay. And um, so I would start by having all the guests introduce themselves. And that's what I was saying a minute ago. They would all do that. You go around the room. And then once we're all done with that, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step into the sharing part of the party. Okay, so that's how hard it is to pull up that PDF. Really simple. All right, so now I'm going to activate the first shopping carousel that I've created for you all. And I just created a mock company called Monogram It. And um, you can see I've set this up. So these are, let's, let's step into the presentation. These are the first products that I want to share. And this is the Soft Cotton Go Anywhere Baseball Cap. And you can see that I've written a description here as well, which actually means you can kind of script out your whole party. Basically, you can read the scripting right off of your slide and uh, along with your with your guests. So you want you can personalize these super soft, comfortable baseball caps for yourself, your baseball team, softball team, church group, any other group that wants to stand out because of their togetherness. They come, these caps come in seven really fun, style, stylish colors. And you can monogram them with your initials, with your team name, or even your team logo. And uh, the caps are $19.95. They're one size fits all. And you can see the colors they come in here. Now you'll notice here these buttons. There's a wish list and a want it. And what I'd like you to do, if you know for sure you want to purchase this product, go ahead and click on the want it button. And that is um, going to basically let me know that this is something that you want. If, it's, if you just want to add it to your wish list, then you would click on that button. Okay. So now that... We are, um, you know, I've kind of given you the description. Now, let's say maybe you want to purchase that. So I'm going to pop up what Meet Call, Meet FM calls an action pop up, and I'm going to. Um, you'll notice that's going to show up over on the right hand side of your screen. Okay, and that is the same picture. It has the basically the same uh, description. These little, this little blue, um, those two little blue arrows there are actually a link. What I've done is I've, I've, I've uh, pre-programmed um, those with a link. And that link, if, you, if I were to click on it, it's actually a fake link, so it's not going to go anywhere. But if you were to click on that, if your, your, your um, guests were to click on that link, it would take them directly to the sales page for this product, and they could purchase it right then and there. So that's really cool. Uh, so what we're, we're going to want to do now is well, we can scroll through through this. It's, that's why it's called a carousel. So you'll ask everybody to go ahead and hit the next button up here in the upper um, right hand corner of this black box, and that brings up the next product, our zigzag bag. This popular bag comes in six fun and trendy colors. It can be monogrammed with your initials. Um, anything you choose. It's big enough to hold anything you need for the beach, kids, everyday items. You can use it as a purse. It's twenty nine ninety five. It comes in six different colors, and again, you can have your initials monogrammed, whatever. Um, and then again, I'm going to go back over and I'm going to pop up the, um, the action pop up for this bag and it's going to show up right on top of the baseball cap. So now they're st both still there. So if someone goes back and changes their mind, they can still click on the baseball cap link. But now this has the link in those two little blue buttons to the, uh, the bags and the, the order page for the bags. And now let's say I want to add that to my wish list. I'm going to click on that there. And that's going to automatically add it to my wish list. Now, the cool thing about these buttons, the want it and the wish list buttons, is when um, we're done with the party, I'm going to get an email that shows, that tells me, um, so this is what everybody, this is what, you know, Sue, this is what she wanted. This is what was on her wish list. And then she can, at the end, when we're all done shopping, leave me notes and tell me. Um, this is what I liked, or, or you know, I'd like that, that, I like three of these hats, or, or whatever she decides. So it's really simple. So, um, and you get that in an email. So there's two different ways for your guests to shop. They can either go directly to the links that you provide with the action pop-ups, and click on those links and order right online, right immediately. Or if you want to be more hands-on and help them place their order, you can, you don't have to use those action pop-ups. You can just have them add it to the want it on their, um, right here, in the in the carousel and then at the end of the evening you're going to get an email and so are they just by the way um, you get an email that says these are all the things they want and their wish list items so when you call them to create that order for them get all their information credit card all that you can upsell them you can use the the uh, wish list 
to have them book a party, all those things. It's the same thing you do in a live um, party. Okay, so have everybody click the next button together. Sleep easy monogram sleeping bag for kids. Make your, make your child's next sleepover more fun. These customizable sleeping bags come in several different designs and colors. Made from flame retardant polyester to keep your little one safe. And then it has the price, $49.95. Now, I went on these carousels from least expensive to most expensive. Um, I think that's how I usually did my parties. I think it's the, the way to go. But again, you would have whoever that person is click on the I want that list. Um, now in this, and, again, and, and then again, I can actually just really easily um, pop up that action pop up for the sleeping bag. And it's going to pop up there. And now I've added it. So you just keep adding items and the buttons there, they can go order it. They can choose the colors and, and everything else that they want. If you're not using the action pop-ups, obviously you'd have to ask them that question. What, you know, you'd have to call them when you get ready to set up their order and ask them, you know, what they, well, how do they want to customize that? If you have products that are customizable and then everybody hit the next button together one more time. And we have these super styling backpacks. You get the idea, one at wish list. And again, at this point, it's really simple for me to just add the, uh, the backpack, and then now you'll see that now there are only three items here, but if you scroll through, the other ones show up. So you can actually add several items and then just make sure that your guests know they need to scroll. So that's the first product de demo section that I, that I would be sharing in this particular party. So we've gone through four of my products. You would probably take more time, talk about the features, <clears throat> excuse me, make sure that, you know, you're answering questions, you're leaving time for questions, you're taking care of that. And, uh, if you want to do, as a part of that presentation, a, an actual demonstration, all you'd have to do would be to pop up your webcam. Again, there it is. And uh, you have to make sure that you, that you take down the carousel when your webcam's up so I can see, there you go. And then you could sh actually show, you could take you know whatever that product was, share the feature, show them how it opened and closed, give it, you know, so. Um, there is a live party feature if you kind of want to do that as well. I mean, these, I think personally, the professionalism of the carousels really makes it easy to share your products, but you might want to do it the other way as well. Okay, so now let's do a quick game, and I want to share with you how um, I've set this up. There are lots of different ways to do games, but I'm going to give you two different options to during the party today so that you can kind of get an idea. So I'm going to go back to the PDF. And it's going to take a, you know, a couple seconds for you to go back and forth between these components, but no one's going to have a problem with that. And again, remind your, your guests to go ahead and uh, you know, shrink that down a little bit so they can see it better. Okay. And then uh, we're going to go to the next slide, which is can't keep calm. It's game time. Okay. And now we're going to play a game. How exciting is that, right? And so here's the game. And again, this took me no time at all to set up. So the game is I want you to go to the product page for my website and I'm going to put up a, another um, call to action that I created, action pop up, that actually has my website on it so that you have that link now. Really simple. Okay, and I want you to go to, to the product page for my website and tell me how many online learning programs I have for sale there. Okay, so we're going to click on this little link here and it's going to redirect us over to my uh, website. I'm going to go up here. So now it's a race, right? This is a game. So the, and what I would say is the first person to type that into the box is going to to win the prize and you would, you know, you you go into more detail tell them what the prize is going to be, whatever that is. So I'm going to go to the sales page of my website. I can look here and see online learning programs. I have 4. And then I quickly just click up here and go back over here. And I go to the chat box and I type in four. Whoops, there we go. <clears throat> and I win. Oh, there, I did it twice just to make sure. <laughs> okay, so that's as, as easy as it is to do a game. And the thing is that keeps people engaged, gets them over to your website, gets them involved. You can do anything you want. You could t send them to a, a, your online catalog. You could send them to you know the information page. You could ask the you know, if, if you know for a fact there's a picture of the CEO on your information page, you could ask what that person's name is, how many kids they have. If there's a picture of them with their kids. You get the idea. It engages them. It gets them invested in, in you and your company and what you're doing. And uh, it's a great way to uh, to play a game during your party. Okay, so now that game's over. I'm going to take down that PDF again. Just going to stop that. I'm going to get rid of that action pop-up. 
and I'm going to go back over here to my second shopping carousel. And this one actually created a different company. I just thought I'd do three different companies so you could get the idea and kind of see how products look in these carousels. So for you, obviously, it'd be <laughs> one company and 12 different products from your line. So these are four more products, okay? So this one, take that down. This one, uh, the company is called Get Cooking. And um, again, I start with the least expensive colorful measuring set. Make sure that everybody's going through these together so that you're asking them to click the next button. Just so you know, people can move independently through this carousel, but I would ask them to do it with you so that you're all doing it together. And then, so they click the next button, European cooking utensil set, talk about these. They either add them to the wish list. You can make sure that you, you're answering questions. This next item, <clears throat> pot and utensil hanging organizer. So I've put in this um, description, this happens to be, so I have the, the price here and then it says free during the month of October if you host a party. So then you would talk about how this is your host special. It's a $69.95 value. They can get it for free when they host a party. Um, and it would, you know, and you can say I'm going to talk with you in just a minute about how you can let me know if you're interested in hosting a party because what's coming up next, <clears throat> excuse me, is the uh, the booking offer. So it makes sense. And then there was one final option in this uh, in this carousel, and that's these super cool, beautiful pink, bright pink fuchsia pots and pans. This is our breast cancer awareness cooking set, and so this would be another thing that you could do. You could talk about. Um, you know, if you have a special, something special going on like that. And then I also did list, you can see here, the colors, black, hunter green, silver. The, it also comes in those colors. Okay, so again, they can add those, the prices there. There um, is quite a bit you can actually add to the description part of this, okay? So, um, and, and again, I didn't create the action pop-ups for each one of these products because just in the interest of time for myself, but you you saw how that worked before you pop up the the little action pop-up where they can actually go and purchase it, you would do the same thing here. So basically the way it works is you activate the carousel, whichever product they're on, you're talking about that. And then when you're done talking about it, you go over, you activate the action pop-up that pops up on the right hand side and they can go purchase it if they want to, or they can add it to their wish list from here. So could not be easier to do. It's super, super simple. So then at this point, let's talk about booking a party with me. So because you know you were on that Let's go back here, previous, right there, because because we're on that that utensils, that that uh, pot and utensil hanger, and that's my host special. Let's talk about what you get when you host a party with me. Okay, so um, what I did here, I'm gonna actually take this down again, is I again created a slide for this, and so I'm just gonna reactivate that same PowerPoint that we've been using. And again, you can see how fast and easy this is. It takes virtually no time at all, and this time I'm gonna actually go to the slide that has the, the party. Why should you book a party with me? So I've talked about some of the, the reasons and I just went ahead and created a visual here because people are really visual. It's fun for you and your guests. It's easy, I do all the work. It's a great way to earn free products. You can host a virtual party without ever leaving your home, just like tonight. And that means that your friends can come from all across the country or even the world and attend that live party together. So it makes it really simple to, to book a party. And, you know, so you maybe t share some of the other reasons why you'd love to book a party with them, whatever your normal booking commercial might be. Um, and then, and this is a really, really cool thing that I've created, another shopping carousel that I created that actually has, um, I called it commercials. And I'm going to actually end, there we go, that. So here you go. Are you interested in hosting a party with me? And if you're positive, yes, you want to book and we just need to pick a date, you want to click on the want it. If you're not sure, you th you're pretty interested, you know, you, you need to think about it or maybe you have some questions for me, you click on click on the wish list and it's going to say, I'm interested in this or yes, I want it when you get that email. So that email from that person comes, it says these are the items that she wants and under items she wants, if she's clicked on wanted, it's going to say, I would like to host a party with you or yes, I want that. Okay, and, and, um, and then if she's not, if she's interested in that, it's going to say interested in this or under wish list, it's going to have that. So it makes it really simple. I also, um, well, actually well, when we get to the recruiting piece of it, I'll show you the, the other part to this carousel that I created. This was, again, took me two minutes to do no time at all. Okay. Okay. So then we've talked about booking. We're more about three quarters of the way through the party it hasn't taken very, now it's going to take you longer than it's taking me. Cause obviously I'm not 
talking about every single thing. And, you know, you're probably looking at maybe 35 to 40 minutes for your party if you share about 12 products, okay? So then the final carousel that I created is for our mock accessory. And I want to just kind of go through this quickly because what, as you can see here, this um, shows you different color options. So if you have a picture from your company that shows, you know, three different color options, maybe there's different size or style options, and that makes it really simple. And again, want it wish list, they go to the next. The next is the dramatic necklace. Talk a little bit about that and the prices there. And again, you would do the action pop-up so they could order it if they wanted to, if that's how you're doing it. Teardrop necklace. Now this comes in silver or gold. I've added that as a, as a piece of the puzzle here so they can see that, okay? And then finally, the infinity ring, okay? Um, and so that's the last of the products. Um, and so what you're gonna wanna do is actually have them click on done shopping. And when they do that, then they're gonna be able to fill all this information in. And any special instructions. Um, and then you can see there are a couple buttons here. I'm interested in, in free products. I'm interested in starting my business. They can click those. So that's just a little added um, extra. I like the act, the pop-up, the carousel, excuse me, because it's a visual. It's something you can pop up when you're doing your booking commercial. And I just think that makes it, it it's a little bit more um, confirmation, but they can also click on these as well if you want. And then they click on, and this, this will show um, their wanted's in their wish list here too, if they've clicked on wanted or wish list for anything. So um, I haven't, let me just show you how that works. Hang on. I haven't done that for each carousel is um, different. Okay. So just so you know, if you, if you, if you want it all to, be, to show up in one sort of shopping cart, you could do one whole carousel and then just keep coming back to it. Um, but every time you reactivate it, you're going to have to get people to the right place. So for me, I like using four different carousel or three different carousels. It just makes it easier. Now, what you can tell them then is because they're going to need to be done shopping at the end of each carousel. So that's, that's the other thing that you're going to need to make sure of. So at the end of each carousel, they click on the done shopping. So this is going to happen at, at, at the end of each one. And you can tell them at the end of the first one, remember the first one I shared was um, the monogram bags, you know, that we're, we're not done shopping, but we're done with this section of the party. So go ahead and click on done shopping. You can see everything I want is here. The teardrop necklace is here. I can change that if I want. I can take those off. Okay. You fill all this information in so that you know who, who likes what for each one. You're going to get different emails for each carousel. Um, okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, it might be a little more complicated for you and a little tiny bit more um, cumbersome, but it also makes it a lot easier to share a different set of products through the course of the, uh, the party instead of having one big carousel and then you all have to kind of figure out, because each time you reactivate the carousel, it's gonna come up on the first product. So if you have 25 items, it's really hard to get everybody on the same page and figure out which item you're on for the second and third time that you're, that you're pulling those up. So they get it all filled in. One time they have to do all of it and then they hit submit and you're good to go. Really super simple. Okay, so we're getting close to the end. We've shown all of our products. Okay, we're gonna play one final game. And uh, again, I'm gonna just really quickly reactivate that PowerPoint presentation. And we're gonna go to our final game. I just, I found some kind of fun graphics for this. Make that a little smaller, there we go. Um, just cause you know, it's visual, it's fun. And then the game itself is, the first person to type in what the host special that I shared earlier tonight is, wins this game. So do you remember who, what that was? And then again, all I have to do is go over here and type in pot and pan holder. Did you remember that? <laughs> and, uh, and then that's a great segue. I really like playing this game here, this particular game, because it's a great segue to talk about booking a party and, and um, that action pop-up. And so let me I'm gonna take that down. And so then again, I would go back to that, that carousel that I created for the commercials. And I would say, you know, and remember that's the host special. If you wanna book a party, this is that slide. And, and I wanna talk just briefly about my opportunity. Okay, so um, I don't remember. Let me look at something really quickly here. I can't remember. I created a slide for this, whoops, or not. I'm gonna look at that really quickly. Nobody's gonna see. 
Okay, so again, I've activated the PowerPoint and you can see that I created a slide for this as well. Are you interested in joining me and using virtual parties to grow your own virtual direct sales business? And then here you would do your um, opportunity commercial and you would talk about all the reasons why it's so easy to, to start your business. You can do in-home parties, you can do virtual parties. It's fun and easy. Um, you, you earn trips, you, you know, basically whatever you do for your opportunity commercial during your own in-home party, you would do the same thing here, okay? And so I have this slide, and then again, I'm gonna take the slide down and just one last time activate the carousel that has my commercials. And this one, the next slide, again, learn more about my opportunity. They can click on want it or wish list. And, uh, whoops, there we go. And once they do that, so there's a picture here. Um, you, oh, you know, I did, I did not enter a slide description. You might wanna put something here. I'd love to, to talk with you more about what, learning more about my opportunity, just so that there's a description there. I didn't realize I was gonna do that. Um, they click on yes, I'm interested, um, done shopping. And again, and then hit the submit button and we're good to go. So yeah, they're filling out that form three different times if you have three different carousels, but it just makes it much easier for everybody to, to follow along together. So I'd recommend that you do it that way, okay? Um, I'm gonna go back and share my camera here and we're gonna sign out in just a second just so I can talk with you one last time. Whoops, and that, because I want to actually go. Shut this down, there we go. And as I'm doing this, I want, I want to make something clear. Um, you don't have to be completely perfect while you're doing this. You don't have to, um, you know, appear as if you're, you, you run these events professionally and um, it's okay to, to talk through it. Okay, I'm gonna go open this, just like you've heard me do. It's okay to make mistakes, that's gonna happen. Technical glitches happen. Um, one thing I'll tell you is the platform's pretty stable. Um, the, the event, the mock event that I did to practice that for this, we had 15 people on, and everybody, with the exception of one woman from Australia, actually, um, she, she could not, we couldn't hear her. She could hear us, we couldn't hear her. She thought it actually it might have something to do with her headset. But anyway, she was just typing. Her questions and, and interacting through the um, through the chat box. So she just typed in her question. I answered. Everybody could see that it was you know really simple. Um, but it's never perfect, and th th there could be some feedback. And if you know if you are an echo, and if that happens, you can ask everyone to mute themselves. I will tell you, you want to be using the Firefox browser because that's the best functionality for this platform. It's a free browser. You can download it for free. Um, it's the only thing you actually have to download um, really to use this. Uh, and that's the, one of the other things I love about this platform is you and your guests, there's nothing to download. You don't have to actually put the software on your computer. It's all web-based. The only time you have to um, download anything is if you want to do um, an actual desktop share where you're sharing your desktop into the, um, the event. And that's not necessarily, I mean, it's not something that I would use for a party. And then really all you're left with um, is thanking everybody for being there, um, telling them you appreciate it, giving them instructions for what's gonna happen next. If they've placed an order, you know, everything is basically gonna be charged and that's taken care of. Otherwise, you'll be contacting them. Um, acknowledge your host. And again, if you wanted to, you could change the webcast, or excuse me, the um, the webcam, so that you're, you're both up there and have her share her webcam as well. So now we're up there in the upper um, right-hand corner and she's there too and you're acknowledging her and saying thank you. And then you sign off and it takes, again, 35 to 40 minutes, pretty much max. Hopefully that helps you all. I know that a lot of you have asked that question. Again, this did not take me long to set up. You can see how beautifully visual it is, how easy it is for people to order, um, how easy it is for them to interact. Uh, it's just really a pretty incredible process. So one thing I didn't tell you is when someone clicks on uh, the wanted or the wish list button in that shopping carousel, a little box popped up, pops up that says, Julianne liked this or, or um, Julianne added this to her wish list. And if you get five or six people doing that, then there's some social proof that basically says, wow, this many people like this, how cool is that? Um, and you can, as the, as the consultant, you can say, this is one of our most popular best-selling products, as you can see, because five people have added it to their wish list. So it creates that sense of involvement and community that you get at a live party as well. Thanks you guys for joining me. And uh, if you have any questions, you can just post them 
uh, either on my Facebook page or below this video, and I'm happy to answer those for you. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks. Bye-bye.